messing around. Let's shoot this thing. Well, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. From the intimacy journey and uh, everything that we've done, we've had an amazing year. It has been quite a year, hasn't it? And we are in the holiday season, around Christmas time. And we were talking about how sometimes with singles, in the holiday seasons especially. Oh, it's terrible. It, it, it's, it can be brutal. Um, and I think some of it is the questions people ask. Yeah, the, Come on, just honestly. As a single, <laughs> haven't you found that some of the questions are very horrific sometimes? You just don't even know how to respond. Like, are are you dating? Well, why not? I mean, <laughs> you're such a great catch. Why aren't you? It's like, uh, if I'm such a great catch, would you advertise for me? Just put it all out there? <laughs> I know, and you almost want to go, well, do you know somebody? But you don't want to sound desperate. <laughs> or, you know, you're being invited to, uh, you know, a Christmas function. And uh, so do we put you down for one this year? <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, uh, yes, one, please. Thank you for making a big deal about that. Or somebody said that someone asked them, uh, well, you do want to get married, right? <laughs> No, I never, ever want to marry <laughs> So, you know, I mean, I think I think during the holiday seasons, as we've talked about, and talked to many of our single friends, it, it can be a struggle, especially if you don't have family uh, in the area, or, or, you know, if you're a little bit older like us, and maybe maybe your parents have already passed away, and, and uh, it just, it's a little hard. So, we wanted to talk about some of the things that have helped us move out of some of the kind of the depression that you can experience. I mean, what is well, it you know like what, what I found is the singleness alone is a family. Mm. It is, it's a family in and of itself. If you find the right group of singles, I know some of the churches have great single groups. Mm -hmm. There's other social events mm -hmm. around like hiking and camping and, mm -hmm. and different things. And you can do things with these people. I went caroling one year with a group of singles. It was so fun. Oh, we need to find a caroling group. I would love to do that. that would be me, 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 me. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so getting out there, um, interacting with people, going to church, church groups, or you know, whatever kind of group you would hang out with. But the point is, get out of the house. Don't be couch potato. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself and well, get stuck. Well, because we get stuck when we reflect on us mainly. Mm -hmm. And what really helped me is I helped single moms. And so if you can get out of kind of the me zone and start thinking about what group am I most compassionate about and what can I do for them? I took my daughter to, when she was young, we always went and served the homeless. Mm -hmm. And that was our way to kind of get out of our own space and realize that, you know, we didn't have it quite so bad yeah. as it feels sometimes when you're focused on self. So it's interesting, I heard you say something, Bethany, and that is that not only you're focusing on self, but you found something that you, you personally were interested right. in, and then you focused on other people. So a woman's issue in this case, mm -hmm. helping women, and then you got out and, and made a difference. And what you'll find is you're exposed to all kinds of people. You'll go to the office, you know people, and you, you are afraid to say anything. You know single moms, but you can make a difference in the most simplest of ways. One time when I was a single mom, someone left an envelope of money on my desk, mm -hmm. and it said Merry Christmas, and they must have known I needed it, and there was no name or anything. I have no idea who did it. One Christmas, this is really funny, I'm like flat broke, I'm a single mom. You know, Jeff passed away when Heather was real little and um, um, I literally had no money to buy Christmas presents. And I was thinking, that's I, I'm gonna ruin her Christmas. She was little, really little. And um, I literally woke up the next morning and went down and there were Christmas presents all under my tree. And my neighbors had collaborated, crawled through the window and left Christmas <laughs> presents under the tree. And I wept for like an hour before I woke her up. I have no idea where they came from at the time. And I couldn't believe that someone had stepped out of their zone to change my entire Christmas. Breaking and entering for an entirely different reason. That's amazing. I, for a moment, I believed in Santa Claus. <laughs> well, and you know, for, for a guy, I mean, Guys, you know, we, we talk a lot about single issues, but but we also talk really to the heart of people who've walked through divorce. 
uh, because there's so much life that's afterwards. It, life is not over and it can be full. And I remember as, as a single dad, newly divorced and, and I was broke and I was just feeling sorry for myself. I didn't have the kids. Um, and, and you know what was amazing? Not having that much, I realized I needed to get out of the house and do something. I actually, on Christmas Day, this is about uh, a couple of years ago, I went down to a, a food pantry and I served a meal. The interesting thing was, it was uh, with some amazing Jewish folks, all the uh, Christians wanted to stay home and open their Christmas presents, and I had a blast with them. Fantastic people and, and just making a difference. And I realized my life was so rich. It didn't matter what I had. It was so rich. Well, because it helps us change our focus. Mm -hmm. So realize that if you feel like I don't have someone to go to drinks with, I don't have someone to go on a cruise with, I don't have someone to spend the holidays with, there are all kinds of other people that are thinking the same thing and no one wants to be the first person to say it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, one of the things that I, I want to encourage everyone with is I think it also, we have to remember that we have infinite worth and value. You know, God says that we're made in His image. That means the, the infinite worth that God has, you have. He says you're a masterpiece. He says that even when your father and mother forsake you, I'll never leave you. I'm here. And the thing is, we have to remember singles, we're not alone. And part of that is, is being able to receive that, that your Creator loves you. And the other part is get out of your house and go do stuff. Go stuff, do stuff for other people and make a difference. What I found is I would spend so much time playing that bad movie reel in my head. And what I found out when I went to counseling was that I would fantasize about how great all the couple's relationships were. I'd literally go to the mall, watch a couple go by and go, I bet they're so happy. <laughs> I bet they go home and cuddle. You know, I would like make it, the, they might be, like they might hate each other and like yell at each other all night, but I would make it so that my focus was if I could only have that. And, and so my focus was on the wrong thing. Rather than focusing on, am I becoming a better person? Am I doing the things I enjoy to do? And, and so really just focusing on living your life and figuring out what you love to do and doing it and feeding into other people. Mm -hmm. I love that. So I, I think in summary, it's receive this amazing gift of life that you've been given by your creator and go out and, and find the things that you really like to do mm -hmm. And, and go use those things and make a difference in people's lives. And, and I love the thing that you said first, and I think this is the most important for us, thing for us to end on, and that is, if you're single, you're a part of a single family. It is, and it's, there's a bunch of other people in the same situation. Mm -hmm. Every time I want, I'm sitting at home and I'm thinking I'm home alone, I'd love to go to dinner with someone, I literally get out my phone and call someone and it probably only takes me three phone calls and I'll find another single girl that is dying to go somewhere and um, we go to dinner. Or we have sushi at the house. Or we, and literally all I have to do is make the phone call. I literally just gotta get out of my own head and do it. Okay, so if you're watching this, wherever you're watching this right now, as soon as you hit stop on the video button, here's what you need to do. Pick up the phone and call someone. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Start writing a list of what can you do to go out and make a difference in people's lives. doesn't matter how much you have or how much you don't have. Right. Just go do it. Or go and sign up to volunteer for one of those places yeah. that needs your help. You have to do it within 30 seconds or your mind will talk yes. you out of it. It's a science. <laughs> it is. I've studied it. You have to immediately do something that moves you towards a change. All right. As soon as we hit stop, we got to do 30 it 30 seconds. All We're right. going to count. Go. All right. Merry Christmas <laughs> Merry to you guys. Merry Christmas to all of you. And the tinker. And the tinker. dog just hit our camera. <laughs>